Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing and testing out the highly rated and extremely inexpensive new flat iron by Revlon on my very crazy, frizzy, curly, insane hair. Let's start by talking about why this flat iron deserves any attention and why it got my attention in the first place. So let's go online right now. Let's type in amazon.com and we are gonna type in Revlon copper flat iron to see what we get. As you can see right away, we see that this flat iron is Amazon's choice. Amazon makes wise decisions when it comes to products, so this is a really good sign. And you can see it's 4.4 out of five stars. If we go into the review, this woman is saying that she has naturally curly hair. To me, it can be a chore. She wanted a new straightener, but wasn't willing to fork out the money for it. And she loves a straightener, it heats up fast. You can pick the temperature, it does a good job. You can see her before and after. And then this one really stuck with me because she said, I'm not gonna lie, I've tried them all from 15 to $200 irons, from steam to vibrating irons. Well, this one is the best I've ever tried on my coarse, thick, curly, frizzy hair. I don't have thick or coarse hair, but I have frizzy, curly, big hair, so that is a good sign. She says the only thing she doesn't like is that it smells like burn, it makes the hair smell like iron, but it goes away after a while. Okay, so we'll see if that's the truth. We'll see, we'll see if that's actually true, and if it does smell like burning, I don't know if that maybe is, has something to do with the fact that it has like a copper plating, but we'll see. But then we can also see that there is this review. So the top critical review is one star and it says, do not believe the good reviews. I really wanted to like this straightener. The reviews were excellent. I was super pumped to try it. And first initial use, frankly, I was blown away, but that's where it starts and ends. It's not as though I've had it forever. I literally bought it maybe two weeks ago, if that, but now my hair is just fried and frizzy and this is making it worse, awful, don't believe the hype. So that's a really, that's a really bad negative review. So we're gonna try it out and see what I think. You guys know that I know a lot about flat irons. I've tried out every freaking flat iron there is. Let's go through its list of features as we do with every flat iron before we test it out. Feature number one, it's a copper three times ceramic coating. I don't really know what that means. Again, this kind of sounds like mumbo jumbo that um, hot tool companies tend to spew out. Like what exactly does that mean? So copper three times ceramic. So is the plate itself ceramic and it's um, copper lined, right? Or is it a copper plate with a ceramic coating or is it a metal plate with a ceramic coating that then has a copper coating and why like what what about copper makes it a good material for smoothing i don't know so this is a bit unclear but it is the main feature that they're outlining on the packaging so we're gonna go with it it does say that it has even heat distribution and that's always very important when it comes to hot tools it has a smart heat memory system this is really cool so what this basically means is if you set your flat iron to 350 degrees fahrenheit the next time it turns on it will automatically go to 350 degrees fahrenheit so you don't have to keep adjusting the temperature Temperature, it remembers your last temperature setting and it kind of puts it in your preferred temp so it's always gonna start up with that temperature which I think is actually great especially for this price point point. and finally it has an auto shut off after one hour of use again this is really great if you leave your flat iron on and you walk away your house isn't gonna burn down because it's gonna turn off after an hour enough chit chat let's try it out so I'm gonna show you what my hair looks like in a before all right, so let's grab our iron and we are going to set the temperature. I'm gonna do 205 degrees Celsius, which roughly equates to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. My hair is fine. Um, it's not super coarse or thick, so it, it's easy to straighten, but it's quite curly. So I brushed it out, so the curls are gone, but it's just, it's like a huge fuzzball. My hair isn't glossy or smooth at all. So it kind of gives you a good idea of what what it's gonna do. All right, my first impression is that this has a really nice smooth glide. I'm not hearing any snagging or any pulling, which is amazing. Sometimes you find that you can get that with really inexpensive flat irons. So you can see that there is just no sound at all. It just glides really, really smooth. Yeah, and even with one pass, it's leaving my hair very, very, very straight. Two passes kind of just refines it. Okay, as I'm moving along my hair here, I gotta tell you, this 
This flat iron is, it's like awesome. For real, super, super impressed. This is a steal for this price, it's crazy. The thing with Amazon flat irons, I try a lot of them out and I'm not like overly bougie. Like I don't need things to be a million dollars to like them. I really do just like things that work. It doesn't matter if it's like expensive or not. I wasn't a huge fan of the Dyson. I actually returned that flat iron, which was surprising because you know, Dyson products are incredible, but I just didn't like how chunky it was. I just didn't like a lot of things about it. This flat iron on the other hand is just really, really great. Like I'm finding that it has a really nice ergonomic style design. Like it's very comfortable to hold. It's not heavy at all, but it actually feels incredibly high end. I find that Revlon hair products in general, like the Revlon hot airbrush is also incredible. Like they're really well made for the price. I just don't know how they can like do that because typically when you have an inexpensive flat iron, you can, even if it works, you can tell it's inexpensive. Like my two in one twist iron review, that flat iron worked. I loved it. It's also from Amazon. I think it's awesome. I kept it. I use it all the time, but it feels like an inexpensive flat iron for sure. This doesn't, this actually feels like a high end flat iron. It's just a really nice design. The true test of this will be how long it lasts. Um, maybe that's why it's inexpensive. Maybe it's made with inexpensive materials. I mean, it has to be for the price. Um, and maybe it's not going to last long, but as a first impression, like, could this be possibly be better? Like it's, it couldn't be better. Like it really could not, couldn't be better. Okay, let's talk about that Bernie smell that um, that review talked about. So I'm not gonna lie, when I first turned this flat iron on, I did smell kind of a burning smell. I always find with new flat irons, for whatever reason, maybe it's the coating on the plate, it hasn't been he heated up a lot, so it does, I don't know, create a little bit of like a gas or something. Like I still find that I can smell burning. I don't think my hair is burning, just to clarify that and be very clear about that. My hair is not burning. I know what it's like to melt your hair with a flat iron. I've done it several times and this is not happening. Um, like it really wouldn't be this smooth and glossy. I think it's just the smell that the plates omit when they are heated. I don't know if that has something to do with the copper coating. I don't know. I don't know if maybe it's because it's a new iron, but that, that smell that was mentioned in that negative review, it is there for sure. I just don't know why it's there, but it is, it is there. If that's really gonna bother you, then maybe this isn't the flat iron for you. But for me, I mean, who cares? Like it doesn't bother me. Wait, let me smell my hair and then let me tell you if it bothers me. Yeah, I don't smell it in my hair. I just smell it on the plate. And it's not overly powerful, but it, but it is there. Okay, so here's my after. Alrighty, what do I say about this flat iron? This is the best inexpensive flat iron I have ever used. It does not feel cheap at all. It actually feels quite high end. It has a really nice long barrel to sandwich your hair through. It does not pull or snag. It has a really smooth glide, but most importantly, beyond all of the features, it leaves your hair feeling very smooth, very, very silky, very soft, and it does it in a really quick way with one or two passes. This is not a sponsored video, I just wanna make that clear, but I really do think this is a bomb flat iron. If you are on a budget, you want something that's awesome, then definitely pick this up from Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description box below. If you guys try it, let me know what you think in the comment section, I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in other hair review videos, then check these ones out next. As always, I love you, I'll see you next week, bye.